Hi, I'm Tom Marks with the Marks Law Firm in Orlando, Florida, and welcome to the Healthy Family Law Attorney. So today we're going to talk about a custody battle. Do you hire a social investigator or do you hire a guardian ad litem and what's the difference? And of course, this is one of the most important cases you could possibly have. That is a custody battle regarding your child or minor children. And so what is in the best interest of the minor children? What is the best way to approach the case? So a social investigator is under chapter 61.20. This is going to be a licensed professional. This is going to be a PhD psychologist under chapter 490 of the Florida statutes, or it's going to be a licensed mental health therapist, a licensed uh, clinical social worker, a licensed marriage and family therapist. So what I like about this is one of these licensed professionals is going to conduct psychological evaluations or other mental health type evaluations. There's well proven and tested evaluation criteria and different type of testing modules that these professionals will use in the case to evaluate not only mom and dad, but also the children depending on their age, if they're old enough, if they're mature enough and so forth. So I get, I, I get the question a lot. So my spouse could sell ice to an Eskimo. They could trick the evaluator. Well, I'm gonna tell you that these evaluators, the ones that are really seasoned in what they do in the courtroom and what they do in their testing, test for those types of deception to be able to determine if the, the person they're evaluating is being truthful and uh, they can report that to the court. Okay, so that's a uh, social investigation with a licensed mental health professional. Typically, I use a psychologist uh, because they have a PhD. They typically do um, a more in-depth level of testing and I've used uh, a number of psychologists over the years that have just proven their, their salt. They have done phenomenal work to uncover uh, hidden biases, uh, parental alienation, alienating behaviors, and so forth that have really helped us in um, what we call a custody battle or a time-sharing case. So what about a guardian ad litem? A guardian ad litem doesn't have to be licensed. Uh, it can be an attorney. Of course, attorneys are licensed to practice law, but I mean, they're not licensed to, in the sense of a mental health professional would be. Um, it can also be anyone else who has some level of training, uh, a retired person. It can be a mental health professional can act as a guardian ad litem. So the guardian ad litem is supposed to be the next of friend of the minor child or children. And it's supposed to present to the court what is in the best interest of the minor children. So the guardian ad litem, rather than doing the testing, is gonna do more in the sense of interviews. They're gonna meet with the child's friends, maybe depending on their age, um, neighbors, family members, teachers, medical professionals, and those types of people to get a sense of the whole 360, what's going on. So the guardian ad litem then will put together what's known as a report and a recommendation to the court. They can also testify just like a social investigator will testify, but the social investigator will have more in the way of those uh, testing evaluations done. So then in the final analysis, the judge doesn't have to go with what the guardian ad litem or the social investigator says. The court is supposed to independently weigh the evidence and come to a decision. My experience though, however, is that the judge will rely heavily on the guardian ad litem or the social investigator. So depending on the issues in your case, you may decide to do a guardian ad litem or you may decide to do a social investigator. If you think that there's gonna to need to be more mental health type dysfunction evaluations, 
of the other party to prove your case, then you want to go with a social investigator. If you want someone who's going to really go and interview others that really know what's going on behind the scenes, then you want a guardian ad litem. I will say you can hire a guardian ad litem and they can actually request uh, psychological or mental health evaluations. I will say though that um, mental health evaluations, social investigators, as well as guardian ad litems are expensive. So you wanna be as careful in who you hire and what their parameters are. You want your lawyer to really focus on what's the most important thing that will show the court ultimately what is in the best interest of the minor children and I've done prior videos on the statute uh, 61.13 that talks about the 20 factors that the court must look at in determining a custody or time sharing case. Okay, I hope that helps. My purpose is I believe your family matters. So I wanna provide hope and help to your family to successfully navigate the family law process in a healthy way. I hope I've done that today. I hope you found value in this uh, video, in the content. If you have, hit that like and subscribe button, that bell notification so you don't miss any videos. I'm still coming out with new uh, legal videos every Wednesday and new expert interviews every Friday. So hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.